Every time I want to look at the, I want to look at the baby more. You are playing with fire, and you must surely get burnt. No one is above the oracle. Ariakpa does not tamper justice with mercy. The price must be paid. Makani for that to love one year or my listen we. The will of the people must surely prevail. Um, I, 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 I do not have answer to the question you seek. Leave here now, else I strike you where you stand. Leave! Okay, see, Abba one will be the last person that will be sympathetic to our cause. But at least we have tried. Huh? We can now explore other options. That woman is very harsh. Very, very harsh. Does she live in this forest alone? Yes. Her mother was the priestess. And Abba uh, Lawai. Her grandmother also. She comes from the lineage of priestesses. Okay, Zay. Philip, our best option now is with Ibe. He might give us a better insight to what we seek. Uh, 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 I am not comfortable going there. What will people say if they see the heir apparent to the throne associating with an outcast? Understand what I'm saying? I am ready to enter into the lion's den at this point, if the cure is there. Okay, Zay, let me tell you. I don't care anymore what people will say. I don't. If he's still alive, he should be the oldest man in the entire local government. Philip, there is no time to waste. Let us go and see Mazi Ibe. He lives very close to the valley. Eh? That is closer to the abandoned stream. Okay, Tanga. Honestly, I found this on Navin. Eh? What if he's violent? Eh? Anyway, as you say, let us be going. The worst that could happen, we won't get answer to the question that burden us. I don't care. That is his house. My friends and I, we used to come here to fetch firewood when we were kids. The very day we ventured into this clearing and saw him, we ran as fast as our leg could carry us to the village. Without looking back, I can't even remember who was chasing us or what was after us. So, what do we do now? Well, we knock. We have to knock. Yes. Oh yeah, let's go. Okay. I don't care what people say. All that matters to me is your love. I don't care what people say.
Are you sure this man is still alive? Eh? That is the question I've been asking. Okay, see. Calm down. Calm down. Don't say this. Because uh, Koya Thank God. Thank God you are here. You were about to leave, thinking you will not come around. Uh, 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 that I was dead. Uh, not really. We have been knocking for a while now. I heard you the first time, but... Uh, I assumed you would go away if your reason for coming is not important. Oh, you miss your way. It. Why we are here is important to us. We are your brother from this room. It has been six years since anybody came here. Who are you? I am Ani. My brother, Okezi. Mm. My late brother's the son. Mm. Yeah. Sit. Our uh, people see now how are they are bossing the name. I don't have color since I never have this uh, Don't worry, Nani. We understand. Whatever brought you to the heart of the Forbidden One in the heart of the forest this hot afternoon be a very <laughs> important matter. <clears throat> you are right, Nanyani. Kaitiwa Akwe Bunsubu. This young man here, my late brother's son, Philip, his wife was struck mad by a robber. And he has vowed to get to the solution. There is no other person. So we decided to come to that very man that defied the oracle and survived. You seek answers to the same question that made me an outcast. Your father has condemned me to this life because I refused to bend to their tradition. My wife and I lived in isolation for 80 years. Since she died six years ago, I have not set my eyes on any human. Mm. <coughs> How selfish can you people be? You discard me like faces and then come to me the moment you need something. Nanibe, please, do not be angry and throw the, the baby away with the bad water. Do not punish us because of the sins of our fathers. We, we were not there when it happened. But you have not changed your evil ways. Hmm? That is why you still seek answers to the same question. You continue to revere and uphold the Ariokpa tradition. Every day, your daughters are returned to you 
raving mad. I do not want to have anything to do with you, Lord. I do not have the answers that you seek. I told you, there was no point coming here. Huh? Let us go. Why are we wasting time here? Um, thank you so much. I think I've already found the answer that I seek. What do you mean, Philip? He has not said anything yet. I also came with my own question, in case I didn't get any solution. What personal question? I was wondering if anyone could survive living with a woman that was touched by Arioba. But you are a living witness. Thank you so much. Your wife, what is so special about her that you risk your life to keep her after her betrayal? Angela, she's so special. She knew the consequences, yet she did it to save my life. I don't mind staying married to her despite her condition. I would want to love and cherish her as much as she deserves. I like you. <laughs> I see a young man who has found love and is bent on shading it from wicked man-made traditions. <laughs> but how ironic. You seek solution to a problem of which the answer lies in plain sight. But to find the answer that you seek, you must know the origin. To know the end, you must first know the beginning. Nanya, Nanya, you speak in parables. Ariokba has always been there. It, it, it has been part of us as a people. Mm. <laughs> Sit. forest many many decades watching and getting in tune with nature i have lived in this sacred forest with the priestess and deity of Ariopa while defying her rules i will tell you the secret antidote to Ariopa. but to find the solution, you must first identify the problem.
Ezebudu has come a long way. Even before the white men came, we were a forward looking community. But unfortunately, the Zubudu has become backward with so many obsolete traditions holding it to a stage. Ariokba was never made by the gods. It is a man-made rule sealed with a oath by an entire community. Are you trying to tell us that Ariokba was not instituted by the gods? <clears throat> The gods are wise. It is only selfish humans who make such one sided laws. Mm. My lovely wife, Ulim, was struck with madness after she slept with a man I paid to make her pregnant. Because I could not. My life turned upside down. I traveled far and wide. I went to so many Dibias. Traveled far and wide to seek a cure. Just like you, my quest took me to the house of the oldest man at that time. The man told me a story of how the Ariokpa tradition came to be. And from that story, I discovered the kill. <laughs> many, many years ago, Ezebud was ravaged by trout. All our rivers dried up. The water ponds were no more. <laughs> the two children died of thirst. Oh. The soil was so dry that the seeds planted roasted in the heat. The animals died of test and the people walked several miles to neighboring villages to fetch water <coughs> the people began to crumble and the new Igbe was forced to consult the oracle the gods had turned their back on Ezebudu. <laughs> A stranger sits at the helm of their affairs. <laughs> it was revealed that the Igbe, the newly crowned Igbe, then was not an indigenous of Ezebudu. Oh. The Queen Mother was called for answers <laughs> because it is only a woman that can tell who the father of her child is. <coughs> Aye. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so. 
made a chilling confession. The Igwe, her son, was not the son of the late Igwe, her husband. He was fathered by a native doctor who the late Igwe employed to live in his palace and cure his late, his sick mother. <laughs> the people were outraged. In anger, the queen and her son were killed. Ah! The people marched to the Zemo and demanded a sacred law that would make any woman who cheated on her husband to run mad. The Ezemo gathered the people at the shrine on an Ekem market day. Two key ingredients were gathered in a pot and the mad virgin was forced to carry it to the center of this forest where the shrine of Ariopa now stands. The first was palm wine. A sign of marital seal in Ezebo. The second and most important ingredient was the moss plant. A bit. <laughs> Remember, I told you the virgin was mad. What? That wise old man told me that the first priestess of Ariopa miraculously became sane after she ate their bed from the pot. <laughs> from that day, a virgin from her lineage was dedicated to the shrine as priestess. After the wise man told me this story, I came back to this hut and meditated over it for years. Tradition born at anger, the most dangerous human weakness. Exactly, exactly. The man told me that women lived in mortal fear of that shrine and the, the, the cause. Hmm? The men used it against them, going as far as having numerous concubines, as long as they are not married. Mm. <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> the law also forbids an Ezebo man from sleeping with a married woman. After the old man told me this story, I came back to this hall and meditated but it for years. One day, while hunting in this forest, I came across the then priestess of Falek, eating the moss plant that we took from the surface of Aleopa effigy. <coughs> that night, I 
I went back to the shrine. I fed my wife with the moss plant and her madness disappeared. Mazibe, are you trying to say that the moss tree can cure the madness? <laughs> we could not go back to the village. <laughs> we had been cast out for more than two years, and no one wanted anything to do with us. My wife and I lived here happily away from Ezio Bodo and her evil traditions. <laughs> Even though we had no children of our own, but we lived happily. I have always wanted to share this secret with someone. But no one has been brave enough to question this tradition or even seek a cure. <coughs> Gods of my fathers, you mean the answer to this question stares us in our faces? All this why? And our women rave in madness when a single plant is the solution to our problem. Is the priestess aware of this cure? Yes, but it is a well guarded secret. It is revealed by the priestess on her deathbed to her successor. What? How wicked they could be seeing our women live in madness. They are a very angry lineage. Mm -hmm. They did not choose to live in isolation as priestess. No. So they see this punishment as well deserved by those women. So. Mazibe, I thank you so much. Words cannot express my gratitude. I am going to come back again to show how happy I am, to show you my gratitude. But, how do we cure these women? How do we do it so that will not cause troubles in the village? I don't just want a cure for my wife, but for other persons that are suffering the same thing. Come, come quick. Come, sit down. I have never seen a more generous hearted and selfless young man. I see great things coming your way. <laughs> and for this selflessness, I will reveal another secret of Ariopa. But it can only happen if the whole community, the whole village, can come together and speak with one hand. This time, a 
heart full of love, not anger. There is no need for us to hide this from you anymore. This young man seated very close to you is the Onotirezi of Ezio Bodo Kingdom. Hey, let us finally come to Ezio Bodo. I am very, very glad to be alive. To witness this new dawn. Hmm. Hmm. No, I am privileged to meet a man as wise as you are. Hmm. Do you now see that the gods are all knowing? Everything, everything happens for a reason. My son, you were born for this singular reason. You were chosen by the gods to right this wrong against the man. <laughs> How, wise one? <clears throat> As you know, Chirese, you have the privilege to ask the people for one thing before your coronation. There have been kings who asked for cars, houses, new wives, and every selfish thing you can think of. <laughs> now, even here, that uh, the late Igwe asked for a very big car. <laughs> Peter Yajub is too old to be of any use to him anymore. <laughs> My son, you have the opportunity to make your mark in the sand of time as the Onochireze that ended the Aroba tradition. Hmm? happy to be here and to see you all today. Women leader, I am happy to see you. Omada, happy to see you. In the youth and all the groups represented, I am very, very happy to see you all here. Ndinze, not forgetting you, I am happy. In spite of the rain, you made it a point of duty to come. I am very, very happy. Our gathering today is indeed a happy one, and as well, a sad one. We are sad because a great sun has set. And on the other hand, we are happy because a new sun will soon rise. Yes. Though we are still mourning our dead Igwe, but we are rejoicing today. At the upcoming coronation of our new king. That is why we are happy. Elders of Umobu, it is time you present the heir to Ezeobudo Kingdom. I Philip, you can see your people. They love you, and they have accepted you to be their king. 
Philip, it is now your turn to make your first request to your people as our tradition demand. I am happy. My heart is full of joy. That you've chosen me to be your king. And I promise you that I am going to make all of you happy. Yes. I will rule the land of Ezeobodo with joy. With justice. With peace. And uh, another thing is this. I am asked to make my request. Okay. Coming home is the best thing that has ever happened to me in this world. Thank you. I love my village. I love the people of Ezeobodo. I love all of you. There's something that whenever I remember it, it hurts my spirit. And that thing has done us no good. Now I am going to make my request. I request that we abolish the Arioba custom. Wait, wait, wait. I want you all to ask yourself this question, both old and young, men and women. Of what good has Ariopa done to you in the 21st century? If not destruction, why is it that our women are rejecting marriage from men of this kingdom? And also men are finding it hard to marry from this land. Why? Have you asked yourself that question? And why is it that the strangers who visit us for the first time refer to us as the dump site of mad women? Why are we destroying our lives in the name of punishment? What is the fate of these women for their innocent children in the future? Huh? Mm. No, 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 tell me. Who amongst us is not with sin? Why? Why are criminals are being handed over to the police? Why we chose to destroy our women for the craving of the flesh, for one thing or the other? Why? My people, think about it. My people. If there's anything I have learned in my few years on earth, it is that change is constant and dynamic. These laws were made by our ancestors to suit their reality. In our country, the constitution is reviewed. Talk more of tradition. <laughs> Philip's request is both selfless and beneficial to each and every one of us. Yes. Yes. There's no one here whose relative is not affected by a real It is not something to be proud of. Our daughters are destroyed. Philip is not asking us for 
a car, neither for a house. He is well known for doing good in this community. He has the people's interest at heart. And this request shows it too. Sabbath is meant for the man and not man for Sabbath. Yes. My people, let us put our heads together and look for a way forward. Thank you. My people, my grandmother used to say, Odala, me alum, me kwalum we had him. What an offer. If I say this request came to me as a shock, that would be an understatement. Never did I envision that a time like this would come. Oh yes, I never did. But this tradition has affected each and every one of us standing here. Affected even those at home that could not make it because of the rain. So, I want each and every one of you to say his mind or her mind yes. concerning this issue. Yes. Oh yes, though we are bound by tradition to grant him his first request. Like he said, rules are made for man and not the other way around, my people. So you say your minds. My people, I greet you all. I thank God for making me witness this new dawn. This matter has been eating me up for years. It is we, the women, that have been put in this bondage. We cannot even leave our bad marriages for fear of our Opa. Hey, some have lost their lives because they are afraid to go. In Dubai, is that fair? No. What is good? For the goose is good for the gander. Yes. I greet you all. We greet you. you. Yes! Arioba must be abolished in this village. Yes. Yes. Five years ago, my sister was raped in the farm. And out of shame, she hid it from her husband. As I speak to you now, my sister is raving mad at the village square. And her children are rendered motherless. Arioba must be abolished. It's not the only situation in this village. My people, we are tired! Arioba must be abolished in this village. Oh no, we are in support of this change. Yes. For the customs stipulate that once a woman is raped, she should confess to her husband and be satisfied. That's what we speak about. Yes. Yes. You for the are tired of this tradition. Yes. 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 You see these women. We don't know the history of these women, but we condemn them to lifetime misery and suffering. Huh? Uh, we are Christians, aren't we? We are! And we do no longer worship the gods of our forefathers. Huh? The Bible 
the Bible you and I read every day, does it condemn? No! It does not condemn. Yes. But it preaches repentance, yes. forgiveness, yes. reconciliation, yes. love. Yes. Why do we then leave this, this our unfortunate brethren, uh, sisters, to this kind of life of misery. Is it good? No! Oh, my, my heart is full of uh, anger yeah? for, 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 for this. There must be change! Change! Impossible. Huh? Huh? Ariokba has been with us for ages. We cannot change because of one man. If Umobodo refused to take their throne, then let the other people present the, the end. As the constituted authority standing in your midst, I would want us to do one thing. Let's put it to vote. Now, those in favor of the new change, say yes. Yes! yes. yes. We want a new change. We want yes. a new change. Yes. yes. OK. Yes. We want a new change. Let's go. Oh. To the other side. Let's go. Adi Goma. Adi Goma. Ifa Batagona is your bodo. Adi Goma. Great priestess of Ariapa. Your mouth professes greatness. What do I do? To what do I owe this honor now? Great priestess, if I can tell, I The people of Ezio Budu Kingdom have come. Never did I imagine a day like this come in my lifetime. People of Ezio Budu, I did not ask why you have all descended to my shrine like a swarm of locusts. I don't need to ask why because I already knew. My grandmother, the great priestess in Dobo, once told me that the last time of Ezio Budu was the institute of Ariokpa. And any day they gather with one voice against this shrine will be the last of Ariokpa. Great priestess, you are right. What brought us here is what you just said. People of Ezio is this really what you want? Or you have influenced by selfish men personal influence. Uh, this is what you want. This is what you want. Huh? This is what you want. Yes, yes. The deity has done nothing wrong. Ariapa has kept her own part of the bargain. I can't say the same for you, feeble humans. Symbolizes the past. Until you kept it, Ariapa. Your voice as one sealed the deal from the beginning. People of Ezeobodu, do you want to destroy this path? Yes! 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 Let the path break with this spot. Go home. Get out. 
the monument for healing. We are going to so gather all of them for healing. For healing. She's whole now. From Ariok. Yes, Mama. She's okay now. Oh, 
By the powers conferred on me as the Onuru of this kingdom, I hereby present to you the new king of Ezio the kingdom, King Philip Obona, Akuruno Nkembo of Ezio the kingdom. The king is incomplete without the queen. I hereby present to you Queen Angela Obona, Lord of AJ Jemba, one of Asia with the kingdom. Proceed to the reception ground mm. Mm. for merriment. We have enough to eat mm. and to drink. Mm. So, shall we proceed? Hello. 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 